Okay, so in this video, we're just going to take a look at a couple of examples uh, regarding independent events in probability. So just to remind you that two events are independent if the occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of the other event. For example, if you flip a coin and roll a die, obviously flipping the coin isn't going to affect your outcome of getting a one, a two, a three, or four, or five, or six on your die. There's three formulas that we can use to test if events are independent. Uh, if A and B are independent, then the probability of A is equal to the probability of A given B, or the probability of B is equal to the probability of B given A, or the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So we're going to take a look at an example here. So the example I have is a fair six-sided die is rolled twice. A is getting a two on the first roll, that's event A. Event B is getting a total sum of both rolls being even. So that'd be two, four, six, eight, etc. And then C is the event that the total sum is less than five. So we're asked to investigate, first of all, if events A and B are independent. So if events A and B are independent, then that would mean the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's work through this one here. So the probability of A, A is getting a two on the first roll. So the probability of A is one over six. There's one chance of getting two out of six. The probability of B, B is the total sum of both rolls being even. So if you think about all the outcomes, you can either have an even or an odd outcome. It's actually one out of two, and I can show you that using this uh, grid here. So this is the first roll, this is the second roll. In here we have the sum of the two rolls. And you can see we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to 12. And if you look at how many of those are even, half of them are even, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It's out of the 36, there's 18 evens. So that's one out of two. So that's one over six times one over two. And now we're going to look at the probability of A intersection B. So that's the probability of getting a 2 on the first roll and your total being even. So if we go back to our grid here, if we get a 2 on our first roll, that means we're in this row here. And how many of those are even? 4, 6 and 8 are even. So that's 3 out of 36 in total. So 3 out of 36 is A intersection B. 3 over 36. So is 3 over 36 equal to 1 over 2 times uh, 1 over 6? 3 over 36 can simplify down to be 1 over 12. And 1 over 6 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 12 also. So that means A and B are independent. Let's have a look at our second example. Investigate if A and C are independent. So A being getting a two on the first roll, C being the total sum is less than five. So the probability of A, well we already know that, is one over six. The probability of C, so getting less than five, if we have less than five, it's all of these ones here. So two, three, four, three, Four and 4 is 6 out of 36, which is 1 out of 6. Now the probability of the intersection, so that's the probability of getting a 2 on the first row and then getting less than 5. So again, we're in this row here, getting a 2 on the first row and then getting less than 5. There's only 2 events there, so that's 2 out of 36, or 1 out of 18. So that's 1 out of 18. So 1 out of 18, is that equal to 1 over, over 6 by 1 over 6? 1 over 18 equal to 1 over 36. That's not 
true. So we'll put an X there and we'll say A and C are not independent. And that makes sense because if you think about A and C, A is getting a two on the first roll. C is getting a sum less than five. If you get a two on the first roll, it's your own, you're restricted then to only two ways of getting uh, less than five. You either have to get a one or a two on your second roll. Whereas if you got a one, for instance, you could get a one, a two, or a three on your second roll to get five. So getting a two does affect whether or not you'll get less than five. So here's one for you to try now, uh, very similar, so a fair six-sided die is rolled twice. A is the event of getting less than three on the first roll, B is the event where the sum of the two is greater than eight, and C is the event that the sum is odd. So investigate if A and B are independent and if A and C are independent. See if you can figure it out and write your answers in the comments to see if you're right.